Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Metal Massacre, the first one, uh, I tell you. Yeah. Well, they spelled Metallica right on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there were two T's on the very, yeah, very T's. first pressing. Is there? Yeah, the two oh, T's. Oh, I need my glasses. There's two <laughs> T's right there. <laughs> I took drafting for, for three years. And this was, this was my contribution to drafting. I got to design the logo and, and yes, the picture is very funny. I mean, I was a, I, I'm an artist still. I love doing art. I remember exactly when I put this thing together uh, uh, on, the, on the drafting board in my room. Yes, well, an old friend of ours for sure. And he has done very well for himself in Megadeth. And uh, after him uh, getting uh, kicked out of Metallica, went on to have an amazing career. Uh, Dave is an amazing guitar player, great songwriter, and uh, he uh, has done some amazing stuff in his band. This guy, Wonderful. yes. Okay, this guy has an obsession with Lemmy Kilmister, I think. Um, <laughs> I remember this from Rip Magazine. That was the cover. And I remember the title that went along with it. it says, the mighty het speaks. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Uh, they think I'm important. I don't know why, <laughs> that's very odd. Ah, yes. The wonderful and very, very missed Cliff Burton, obviously on the first three Metallica records. We saw him in a club uh, down in Los Angeles playing in a band called Trauma. And Lars and I knew he had to be in the band. So yes, we miss him a lot. He's, uh, he's, he, He's a, he's a brother. <laughs> I don't know his version of history. I don't remember him. He was in the band for a minute? No, but he tried to be in the band. I think he's saying that he was in the auditions when you yeah. were looking. Really? Yeah. Huh. Definitely not. Yes, <laughs> that's the Lemmy we, we love. This is the one maybe he loves. <laughs> uh, I've met him quite a few times. We've jammed together. Uh, we've hung out a little bit. I didn't know him as well as a lot of other people, but um, yeah, definitely a mentor in the metal, heavy metal world. You know, he was a godfather. Uh, he, uh, he is the epitome of rock and roll to me. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. But there are so many James Hetfield titles out there. And <laughs> this is the most beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> Not so much. Yes! Oh, my first wife here. Uh, <laughs> that sums up our relationship, maybe. Yeah. We are brothers. We love each other. We hate each other. We've gone through so much together. This man I've known uh, longer than anyone on this planet besides my family. Uh, and we've, we've been through a lot together. So grateful to have him in my life. Lars was inside here somewhere. Uh, uh, we both put an ad in the paper saying, looking for heavy metal guitar player or something. There were only two people in there, Lars and myself, and we eventually got together. <laughs> uh huh. Ooh. Yes. The many heads of the Metallica Beast. Uh, I'd say it's, it's awesome. I love the artwork. Uh, different emotions out of one person, able to express ourselves. I mean, there's many ways to read this. Uh, Metallica's got layers, no doubt about it. 